Today we've got a, a big pile of camcorder viewfinders. Now why, why would I want a, a big pile of viewfinders? Well, um, most of these are actually um, cathode ray tube viewfinders. They were all from uh, professional camcorders, which um, for a long time used uh, CRTs, black and white CRTs. In this, in this case they're all uh, one and a half inch CRTs. In fact, I think one of them is actually two inch. Uh, they use high voltage, uh, high, le high uh, acceleration voltages, which gives them a very sharp image. They've got nice big lenses on them, which you can means people can actually look into them and see them, unlike uh, the little piddly thing on uh, this camera. Uh, now, the advantage of, of these sorts of things is they just normally take a, a composite video input, which means you can use them with just about anything. I could use them on a video camera. Uh, I might be able to adapt one to fit on this little Sony, uh, which would make it more usable in bright sunlight. Uh, I might be able to uh, adapt it one for the uh, Canon XL1. Uh, the uh, viewfinder for the Canon XL1 is, is actually quite good, but it is uh, late 1990s LCD technology, so um, so not as good as a CRT of the time would have been. Might even be able to use one on the uh, SLR camera. Uh, I could possibly use it as a little uh, novelty monitor on a, a Raspberry Pi or uh, something like that, maybe make a little clock. Uh, so why do I end up with so many of them? Well, um, I was actually looking for uh, camcorder parts on eBay uh, to see if I could find anything of interest, and I, w I wouldn't mind picking up a, a professional viewfinder. Uh, to use to see if I could modify it to work on pretty much any sort of camcorder. Uh, and I actually came by uh, this auction where someone was selling 11 of them, all Panasonics, um, going for about 50 quid. So I put a bid in and uh, I won the auction. And this is what we've got. Uh, these first three, uh, these uh, I think date from the early 1990s. Uh, this particular one is a VF42, and there's a bit, 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 that's a that's a 42. That's got its mounting bracket on. And that one's a 40. Uh, I think these go to the to um, an old broadcast camera from the early 90s. I think it goes to a WVF500 or something similar. Uh, these ones have these little round connectors, which is the same connector as my uh, Canon XL1, but they're not the same pinout. Uh, if you look inside, you can see there's uh, the uh, one and a half inch CRT, and in this case, the uh, lens just flips down. I've taken one of these apart. I, I managed to find uh, something which I, I think might be the pinout from one the, the uh, service manual for the uh, actual camera that they go to, but I can't actually get these to power up, so. Uh, and I did manage to release some magic smoke from one of them, so I don't know whether these are, uh, are actually functional or not. Uh, hopefully they are, there's probably not a lot to go wrong with them, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, the next ones are these, the uh, VEQ1906, and these go to um, a, a, a Panasonic DVC Pro camera, one of the uh, I think it's either the late late nineties or early two thousands model. Uh, these look a bit more fancy than the others. Um, I have tested these; uh, they all work. I'll tear one down briefly in a moment, but they uh, all work. Uh, these these have these uh, little square connectors on, but uh, as you can see on this one, I've actually taken the cable off. Uh, uh, I managed to find the uh, power supply and the um, video connector, and they uh, work fine. I've got several of these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that one's still in pieces because I took it apart. Uh, the other interesting ones are these two. Uh, now this says Colour Viewfinder, HD, uh, being a Colour Viewfinder it won't be a CRT. Uh, 
Anyway, this, this is actually a, a CVF100G, and it's uh, actually a, a, a liquid crystal on silicon display. Now, somehow or other, I can uh, open this up. There we go. See, the lens, lens pops out. Uh, and on this one, in contrast to the others, there's uh, an LCD down there. Uh, now I can just about make out on this camcorder screen that that's not in focus. Uh, there we go, I think that's in focus. Now you can see the uh, widescreen LCD. Uh, and this other one, which is uh, still sort of in pieces because I've still been trying to reverse engineer it, that says high definition, uh, 720 progressive. Uh, that's uh, an HVF27P. Uh, this one is actually a cathode ray tube. And if you look down there, you'll just about be able to see uh, that it's a uh, widescreen. Now, I think this might actually be a widescreen tube, I'm not sure. Uh, but this one is actually a two-inch tube rather than the uh, one-and-a-half-inch, which they normally have. Uh, yeah, despite being high definition, this is a, a cathode ray tube. But while it's um, already got the screws out, I'll show you inside it. Um, you've got the cute little CRT here. This one appears to be made by Miyota. In fact, I think the uh, whole viewfinder was made by them. Uh, they are very heavy. They're made out of uh, made out of metal. Uh, these uh, mounts do unscrew to uh, adjust the mount. You uh, to pull this up, unlock it. And you can slide it around like that. Um, these will have been very expensive in the day, and I can cert when you look at the construction of them, I can certainly see where the money went. Uh, now, compared to the others, the, this is quite an interesting one because it has quite a lot of circuit boards in. It has one board there with the controls, then another one, then a main one down the bottom, so that's three, and then an, adi an additional one at the back, which is four. So that's four circuit boards, and it's got all these little trimmers on the top here. Uh, not labelled, so we don't know what they all do. Now this actually accepts, this particular one should accept um, different kinds of uh, images, like standard definition and uh, high definition. Uh, so I'm, I'm having trouble figuring out the pinout for this one. I managed to get the lights to flash, but I've not managed to get the, uh, an image on the CRT yet, so I need to do some more investigation with this one. I'll just show you one of these... Uh, these uh, standard definition Panasonics. Uh, they, they're made of metal again, as are the uh, other ones. Uh, this connector here is where the um, cable plugs in. Uh, in order to use it, um, you only need 12 volts, 9 volts, ground and a composite video signal. So you don't need a lot in order to make it work. Uh, but this isn't anywhere near as complicated inside as uh, th that one is. You've got the uh, flyback transformer here for the high voltage. Those are these the uh, screen control. I think that one down there. I'm not sure what the other is. You assume focus, but it doesn't seem to to affect the focus. And there's various ones for the video, so the uh, linearity, the size, and so on. And then on the front, you've got uh, contrast brightness, focus peaking, and uh, tally light and zebra. Uh, the um, other connectors in here are really for the uh, tally light and the switches. Uh, if you're not using them on a camcorder, you don't really need those. If you're just reverse engineering them for another project, you uh, you, you don't need to, to use those. Uh, let's uh, just put this up on the bench and I'll show you it working. Right, I've taken another... I've taken one of the viewfinders and uh, took it apart. It's just three captive screws and then it uh, basically lifts apart. Uh, I've got this cable, this is one of the cables which I've uh, chopped the plug off 
and strip the wires back. Uh, I've connected the um, two power ones of this, these two. Uh, one's supposed to be 9 volts and one's supposed to be 12 volts. Uh, but at the moment I've just got the one power supply and I've hooked them both up to 9. Uh, it seems to work. I'll have to uh, try it with the proper arrangement later. And then these two here are the video signals. So I've got uh, an assortment of cables going down to uh, a PVR. Uh, so if I plug that in, uh, you can see we get a raster. Uh, the lights have come on. Uh, it'll probably sort it's, it's uh, the lights will probably change in a, in a moment. If I uh, fiddle about with the wires, you can uh, see the lights go off. Now we have a raster, but you can see uh, there's a bit of a gradient. It's uh, lighter on one side than it is on the other. Uh, all of these viewfinders do that. I don't know if that's a fault or if it's uh, supposed to do that. And if it is a fault, I don't really know what. But I'll just turn the uh, video source on. If the lights are flashing, you'll just have to ignore that because uh, the wires are disconnected, so it'll be picking up any stray noise. But you can see we get an, an image. It's a bit difficult to show on the uh, camera. Right, I've just about set the camera up so that you can see the uh, viewfinder screen through the uh, uh, magnifying lens. Uh, you should be able to see it's actually very sharp. I've got the um, electronic program guide on and you can see the text very, very clearly. Uh, the you, you will notice some flashing dots at the top. Uh, that's because uh, these professional viewfinders underscan the image, so anything that surrounds the actual image will show up. Uh, now I'm just going to have a little play with the controls. There's the uh, brightness control. It does go really bright. Uh, you may see, if the, the uh, camera will pick it up, you might see the uh, retrace lines. That there are just the contrast, so there's hardly any contrast there, and uh, there's quite a lot. The uh, focus peaking does sort of sharpen the image up slightly, but you won't really you won't really see anything on there. Uh, yeah, you, c you can see it still has that issue with it being slightly too bright on the l the left and too dim on the right. Uh, all all of these particular ones do it, uh, so I don't know quite what the issue is with that, I'll have to investigate, there might be a, a worn out component, but I think the tubes themselves are in good condition, because you, you, they do get a nice sharp contrasty image, so I think the tubes themselves are good. Uh, while we're at it, we'll just have a quick look at one of these older ones. Uh, these older ones, these have the tube out here, and then the uh, circuitry behind it. Uh, again, it's a, it's a two board construction, with some uh, little heat sink and combat well, combined heat sink and bracket. Uh, they do have potentiometers which are are labelled, so you can see there. There's a V size. Uh, there's a H hold. Uh, I think I saw a V hold somewhere. Yeah, there, there are there are labels, and the potentiometers will be on the other side. I can't quite figure out which signal is which. Uh, I've used one of the uh, service manuals for the camera that this goes through, and I can't quite ascertain uh, which wire is is the power and what's the, the signal. So either I'm getting that wrong, or these don't work. Anyway, regardless of uh, whether any of them don't work or not, I have got a load that do work and I'm sure they'll come in handy for a project of some description. If anyone has any suggestions for uh, things we could do with them, I'd be very willing to hear them, so do let me know.